Good to see you, buddy. Oh, yeah, man. Nice to see the way you took off like a rocket this morning, starting by missing your plane <laughs> and all the bummer trips that began your vacation, and then people dying of brain cancer, and then we get into death. And uh, than it was beautiful, you know, it reminded me of that movie where uh, Neil, uh, what's it, the old Rod Steiger was Joy Boy, all about the dead, you know, and laying them away, and it was a wonderful thing to see. So from there, anything was up. I learned what algorithms are, because I had to go <laughs> look it up, and uh, Susan likes remembering, and I like that, man. I'm for that. I hear a tune, and I go back. Yeah. Bam! All of a sudden, hey, it's 1951. Hey, it's 1972. Wait, hey, we're driving. Oh, man, what? That is beautiful, and I'm into nostalgia. You'll find out when you get a little older, Doug. You know, <laughs> yeah, right yeah. now, all you're doing is worrying about dying. That's going to happen. That's the one thing you can count on, dude. We are going to croak. And then Joe comes in with this number about how to dial an atheist. Don't bother dialing an atheist, dude, because atheism is dogma. There is no God is what they're saying. They ain't been there. No more than a guy been up there and sit on Jesus' lap and come back. It ain't like that. Kien blanking sabe. <laughs> Read my book because it's about the people who are agnostics. And we get neglected because they go right to atheism. I also want to talk about Joe on the ads thing. Let me tell you something. All ads are subliminal, and many are not subliminal, which makes me happy like them travel ads for sandals in these places. You ain't going to see people in bikinis like that down there. Get out of here, Jack. They're just there to sell the sizzle, and it works every time. I pay attention. I don't leave the room when those beach ads come on, and I ain't planning on going nowhere but Bearsville. <laughs> However, they amuse me. And the subliminal thing, you watch it with the truck ads. Come here, boy. Get you in this big truck, make you a powerful big old man. No, you won't be weighing 120 pounds when you jump out of this big dually and ah, bah, bah. And it's always that guy with that voice and that. It's wonderful. It's called Madison Avenue. And you got to get over letting stuff make you mad. Joe gets outraged, and that's cool. And that's part of his shtick, which is all right. But I don't bother with that. These are humans. When that dude chops someone's head off, that's a wholesome high school dude that the little girl remembers. Oh, he was such a lovely student and he used to write poetry. Hey, Jack, he's out there chopping heads off and he's Jihadi John. You gotta purge religion from the globe. And it's got to be done through reason. People have got to think about stuff. I just, during the thing when the wine commercials and all came on, I put my headset on and I played Losing My Religion by R.E.M. <laughs> to a live audience, man. The sooner religion gets out of people's minds, like a brain cancer, the sooner we start to improve. Right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, Susan, you don't have time to dear. respond. <laughs> okay. But, but uh, have a good time at Shul. Thank you. Uh, I will. And, uh, this has been our Patrick. temple, uh, and uh, we sacrifice a lot of people here. Uh, thanks to Patrick Carlin. Yes, yes. Yeah, and renounce the religion of your George choice. Later. Yep. Oh, and thanks for pushing the buttons. <laughs> I can't stand And yeah. thanks to Joe Riola for checking in and making sure oh, we yeah. understand what's really going on at Barney's. All if you right. keep the dial tune right uh, where it is, 100.1 FM yeah. Radio, Woodstock, Ryan Van Wonder, keeps you company with good music and good vibes.